<laughs> Wait lang. Yeah, oh my goodness. Uy, you have to watch this one. This is crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. You're, you're flying. Wow. Oh my. This is a flying car. See, the diff lock is locked. That's why it's... Whoa! <laughs> Look at that. Whoa! Oh! That's crazy! <laughs> wow! This is crazy! Wait! Wait, don't move! <laughs> don't move! What are you doing? Oh my! <laughs> this is crazy! Wow! Wow! Good luck, Ford! <laughs> You're gonna thank us, we're gonna hate us! Ford Philippines! <laughs> this is Reagan from Reagan's Rides! <laughs> wow! Yes, I am! Crazy! Look at that! It's crazy! Wow, 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 wow! Oh! Careful, don't flip it! Huh? <laughs> wow, whoa, 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 whoa! Slowly, slowly! Oh God! Oh. Wow! Sarap naman! Sarap naman the flexing! Wow! Wow! Whoa! The flexing! Wow! Don't fall! Don't fall! Wow! Okay! Who's next? <laughs> It's been a while since my last review video with a good two months of recovery from my COVID incident. So I thought that, well, it would be great to get back to filming with a bang. And I figured what better way to do it than to film my very first off-roading video. And with the help of my good friend Ju of Soju Cars, subscribe to his channel, and Ford Philippines, I got to drive the all-new Ford Ranger FX4 Max in its natural environment. Will the FX4 Max live up to its legacy? It's time for us to find out. Let's do this. Hello guys, I'm Reagan and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to my channel, I hope you hit that subscribe button and become part of the Reagan's Rides family. If you're my subscriber already, thank you so much for your support by watching this video. It really means a lot to me, guys. Now what we have here is the latest Ranger from Ford Philippines, the FX4 Max. The FX4 Max is priced at 1,758,000 Philippine pesos and it gives you near Ranger Raptor levels of off-road performance at a much friendlier price point. It comes prepped from the factory for river crossings and uh, trail roads because it comes with these beefy BF Goodrich tires and Fox Monotube shocks and dampers. Well, this suspension and tire setup is pretty similar to the Ranger Raptor and because of this, it gave the FX4 Max a more aggressive ground clearance of 256 millimeters. The approach, breakover, and departure angle are also more aggressive than say a Ranger XLT. The approach angle is at 31 degrees with a breakover angle of 25 degrees and a departure angle of 23 degrees. Now, as much as I want to talk to you guys about its uh, features and all that specifications, well guys, the great outdoors is beckoning out to me, so it's time to take this beast out on the off-road trail. But don't worry, I still have a full comprehensive review of this truck in the future, so it would be best if you guys would click subscribe and watch out for that video. Now let's go. All right guys, so we're now here on the trail. And as you can see, this is still a light trail, guys. And the FX4 Max is not having any issues at all when it comes to these 
light trails because this FX4 Max is also equipped with the same engine and transmission that can be found in the Ranger Raptor. We have the same 2-liter bi-turbo diesel engine that's good for 500 Newton meters of torque and 210 horses. But the thing is, we also have the 10-speed automatic transmission that's also found in the Raptor and the Wild Track. And it's a little bit iffy, if I may. When, when we were on the highway coming here, you see on the highway, it was doing a little bit of gear hunting. And personally, I prefer the older 6-speed automatic transmission versus this 10-speed. Um, this While we're crawling over these rocks though, it's not a big issue because we're always on first gear anyway. And the good thing here, guys, is the FX4 Max is a true off-roader because aside from being 4x4, it also has an electronic locking rear differential. So that means that we've got a good level of traction while we're traversing this, whoa, really, <laughs> really bumpy and rocky road. The FX4 Max is truly a very capable truck and it could easily take on these kinds of trails straight out from the factory. The suspension play of the FX4 Max is also phenomenal. I like the fact that there's a good amount of suspension articulation despite coming you know, stock from the factory. And that's because of those uh, two inch Fox monotube dampers and well, of course, that um, electronic locking rear differential. All right, guys, so yeah, that was a little bit of a river crossing. In fact, right now we're here in the middle of the river because we're waiting for the other guys. We have um, uh, Alex of Jay Walker, so subscribe to Jay Walker channel as well. Uh, and then uh, in, the, in the other ranger, of course, we have our master spotter, also known, also named Alex, guys. So yeah, it's always important to have a spotter whenever you're going off-roading and also follow the number one rule of off-roading, guys. Always keep your thumbs out from the steering wheel just to make sure that you don't break your thumb if the steering wheel just suddenly jerks because of all the rocks that we have here in the river. Yeah, so it's a good thing that this uh, Ranger FX4 Max is also equipped with the BF Goodrich tires because we wouldn't even dare go here if this was well equipped with you know regular street tires or truck tires. So it's a good thing that we have uh, BF Goodrich tires here and we're able to make this river crossing quite easily. There and there. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yep. So we're now, we're now right in the middle of the river, and we're just go crawling through these rocks here. And even though it looks like it's a smooth river, there's a lot of big rocks under us. All right. Oh. Okay, that's why it's really important to have a good spotter. Okay. There's a big rock on the right. Alright. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Right now. Turn right. Turn right. Nice. Okay. 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 Ok
Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> God. What the? F Left turn. <laughs> What the fudge, man? All right. We didn't even have to do diff lock. <laughs> We're just on four low, guys. Wow. <laughs> awesome. OMG, guys. I mean, that was my first off-roading experience. As you can see, it is not for the faint of heart. It's not uh, you know, a light trail. We cross an entire river right there. And it's all thanks to Fort Philippines. And of course, my good friend, Ju of Soju Cars. Here's Ju. He's my uh, navigator spotter here in the, in the truck. So thanks for that, man. I really appreciate it. So that's uh, the Ranger FX4 Max, guys. It's a fantastic truck straight out from the factory you could uh, take it out from the showroom and head straight into the mountains and the river crossings and you would not have any issues at all in fact in that uh, major river crossing i did i didn't even have to activate the electronic locking rear differential we were just on four low and it handled it like a dream fantastic guys fantastic in my book there are only a few cars that can give so much smiles per hour below two million philippine pesos there's the Mazda Miata, the Ford Ranger Raptor, the Suzuki Jimny, and after tackling all of these rough trails and river crossings, it seems that the new Ranger FX4 Max has also made it to my hallowed list. In my opinion, this is the best all-around off-roading pickup truck in Ford's lineup. Thanks for watching. Okay, slowly. Okay, slowly. Slowly. Up. Another turn, reverse, Ju. Can you check this out, wait? <laughs> wow! <laughs> yes, we are diff locked, and as you can see, no traction, zero traction, and it is truly flexing. Wow! It is crazy. Reagan, Whoa. you want to come down and see, and then see something there. It's very all right. So this is the reason why you need to have a rear diff lock, especially when you're going on off road. Check this out, guys. Yeah, as you can see, my rear tire is not touching the ground. There, see, my right rear tire is floating, and with the rear differential lock, that means we also have traction on the other side, on the other wheel. So this will help me get out of this a uh, pretty sticky situation right here. Yeah. So, there's nobody in the truck, so I have to get back in and drive it and get it out of this mess, okay?